Welcome to my channel. I'm Zuraida Ismail. Don't forget to subscribe from College Matikulasi Perak. Let's start this video on topic approach in problem solving. Here we are talking about how programmers start to write instruction to a computer so that the computer can solve any problem needed in our daily lives. For example, how ATM machine can read instruction from user so that the machine can dispense correct amount of money. In this video, you only need to know 5 steps in problem solving, then describe it, then state 3 types of control structure, and list types of error with its example, and describe the error and its effect. Let's proceed with 5 steps in problem solving and 3 types of control structure. Do you know what is a problem solving? Problem solving is the process of transforming the description of a problem. Transform the description of a problem into a solution by using our knowledge of the problem domain, which means by using our previous knowledge and by relying on our ability to select and use appropriate problem solving strategies, techniques and tools. Five steps in problem solving are number one, do problem analysis. Number two, design a solution. Number three, implementation. Number four, testing. And number five, documentation. We, you will learn more on these steps in the next lesson. There are three types of control structure you need to know to solve the problems. Sequence control structure. What is sequence control structure? It's a series of statements that executes one after another. What is selection control structure? Selection control structure is a series of statements that can determine which different statements need to execute based on certain condition. And last one, repetition control structure. It's a series of statements that allow you to repeat the same process for a few of times. Here how you describe five steps in problem solving briefly. Number one, do problem analysis. It's a process where you analyze a problem statement to identify the input to the problems and find the relevant process and produce the required output. Number two, design a solution. You write an algorithm, either use technique, write a pseudocode or draw a flowchart. In implementation, you transfer the algorithm into coding. Also, you can uh, write a source code or do coding. Number four, testing. After you transfer algorithm into coding, you have to check and detect error or correct the error. Do correction. And last but not least is documentation. After you detect the error, run the coding, you make sure you write a report. Okay. There are three types of error you need to know. Syntax error, logic error, and runtime error. What is syntax error? Syntax error is a program error that occur when the code violates the syntax or you write down type wrong syntax such as example misspelling a command or leaving out require command logic error flow in program design that cause in a result the most important thing is 
logic error will make you gain wrong output random error is a program error or event that cause the program to stop running to stop running or hang uh, that is we call it as a runtime error what is the importance of documentation documentation enable a programmer to understand the flow of program for future reference and then to guide user to use the program explain the purpose of good statement Let's take a look at example of logic error. Example 1, if price more than 200, the discount calculation is 0 0.10. Is this correct formula? No, you will get wrong output. Calculation of discount not correct. It should be discount 0 0.10 multiplied by price. So we gain the correct calculation. Another example, if number more than 20, the system will display number more than 20. Also, if number more than 30, the system will display number more than 30. Do you think this statement is correct? Actually, this statement will gain wrong output also. The flow of if else here is wrong can see here example if you put 40 40 more than 20 yes correct so the system will display number more than 20 so if you put 60 the system will still display number more than 20 if you put 10 10 more than 20 no else if 10 more than 30 no also so that means no result for less than 20 and then if you put 21 you will the system also will also return or display number more than 20 so uh, there are no uh, number more than 30 will be displayed for this case so what is the correct one how you should done it it should be written like this. If number more than 30, system will display number more than 30. It also if number more than 20, the system will display number more than 20. How about we do the desk check? 40 is more than 30? Yes. So the system will display number more than 30. How about 21? 21. The system will not enter if if 21 more than 30 no so this this computer will read else if 21 is more than 20 yes so the computer will execute statement number more than 20 to be displayed on the screen so this show that the flow of if else statement here is correct so that means uh, to understand more on this logic error you should learn more on next lesson the second one error the programmer will make is syntax error example discount it written like that equal equal zero and then example two when not declare any identifier used in the coding then example three if then the condition is written number equal to two like that okay. what actually is the wrong there actually the syntax error the program actually cannot be run when you compile it it just stop and determine the error there you have syntax error then because no semicolon at the end of the statement of run 
then assign value into discount should be put only single equal here single equal if you put equal equal that mean uh, this, this statement means is it zero is equal to discount like that it's for condition of run Example number two and example number three symbol equal equal which means is equal to for writing in condition statement assign to this is assign to sign means you put only one single so in the, this is wrong in this one is in condition you write it wrong so this is we call it as a syntax error how about runtime error runtime error example dividing number by zero uh, operation you cannot divide any number by zero and then example two the compiler will issue a runtime error if you try to change the value of a constant during execution what happened program error will cause the program to stop running sometimes it will cause infinite loop program unable to terminate by itself let's check your understanding step five steps of problem solving number two describe each step of problem solving number three state three types of error and write example and effect when each types of error occur what is the importance of documentation? So that's all for today.